please don't forget to subscribe because a lot of people that watch my videos don't subscribe apparently and hit that bell so you stay informed with the latest and greatest videos from this channel i'm also live every day on twitch.tv slash hasanabi after 11 a.m pacific okay, so so yeah, you gotta oh you wanted me to look at the fucking quinn thing this is not a dude quinn is literally a fucking two head like i don't know I, you guys like keep clipping his shit i don't know what to say to quinn's takes about women okay he literally has daughters holy fuck dude figure it out you're like an old ass man take but it's not even a hot take it's actually just completely like, fucking hot take but it's not even a hot take it's actually just completely subscribe. true okay if women weren't required for reproduction they wouldn't exist because we would have killed them off by now okay let's be real if they were not required if we could just have sex with dudes and have kids all women would be dead okay <laughs> Yo! This is like. There's no fucking shot. This is like actually. He, I don't think he understands what he's saying. Okay? Like, there is zero fucking percent chance that a human being would be like saying this unironically. Okay? Or this is the largest self-report that has ever fucking existed on the planet. I don't even think his fucking chat agrees with him, right? Like, I mean, last time he said that, oh, nope, they're saying true. Never mind. 100%. Like, fuck. <laughs> He's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> um... He has a wife and daughter. Yeah, I mean, no shit. Having a wife doesn't really stop you from being a misogynist. But usually having a daughter will give you a different perspective on the world because, head. like, this is someone that you cherish and want to protect. And men having that kind of attitude quite literally directly fucking targets them. So that's what I mean. And I'm sure his wife is, like, super nice, too. Like, it's just... Sometimes women say they don't need men. They can just freeze the sperms and get rid of men. I think it's just the same thing as just swapped. Yeah, except, you know, why the last man fucking tanked, okay? And also, there is a difference between Go misandry and misogyny. Are we really having that fucking role reversal conversation right now? Also, what happens when you know, dudes fuck each other and then one dude is capable of getting pregnant and That's then they nice have nice. a child. Do they, does, does Quinn think like, you know, there's no women that are born? He quite literally gave birth with his wife to two daughters. Like I said, he just doesn't understand what he's saying. I don't think he's like thought Yo. anything through in his entire life other than like a couple fucking Jordan Peterson memes that he's seen. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I should have a, maybe I should have a fucking convo with him or something. Also, also has a latent closeted gay vibe that he's talking about dudes fucking each other. I mean, not really. I think it's just like ramp. It's just like straight misogyny. Uh, he's farming insults like there's no tomorrow. Misogynistic men that have daughters don't choose a perspective. They just ruin their daughter's lives with their faulty mentality. Someone who was a man in his little incel fiend in the past, do not go down that path. People Let's not do the misandry talk, the guys. Smile. To say the end word because it's just a joke. What? What did that fucking dumbass say? Or not the dumbass? Maybe. Because I have no idea. I missed it. People also justify people like items to say the end word because it's just a joke. Yeah, I'm not one of those people. Like I, I like items content. I'm going to pull a Kanye. I like some of iDub's content. What does he know about the N-word? <laughs> okay. No. Like, that's not... <laughs> okay. It, it's just not. I don't agree with that. It's not. And also, he's not like that anymore anyway. He's, like, reformed as well. The fuck does he know about the N-word? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> okay, listen. Um, <laughs> what the fuck does she know about cameras? <laughs> That's the, that is like Kanye one of my favorite fucking Kanye this. takes, dude. It's so good. Oh, I got to play it, dude. And what he said is you are a celebrity. So basically what's going to happen is there's product here. And this is where you end up right here. If you can communicate this product, you can make money off the product. Because look at Gaga. She's the creative director of Polaroid. I like some of the Gaga songs. What the fuck does she know about cameras? Oh, God. Why did it have to be the deep fried one? God damn it. The OG one is like the best. You don't need to fucking add any flavor to this. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like some of Gaga's songs. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, we, uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with him, dude. He's also, he's going to catch a ban if he keeps doing this shit, by the way. I don't know what the fuck is this actually the meta? Is that like weirdo dude who was like saying the real meta is getting banned as a big streamer so you can come back in a glorious unbanning stream or whatever the fuck. Like maybe that dude was right. Holy fuck. I hate getting banned. Okay. I, I despise it. I think it's fucking awful. I, this is my life. This is what I love doing. It's not about the fucking money. I also enjoy doing this in general. That's precisely why I fucking nonstop stream when I don't have to stream this much. So I don't like getting banned. I am not a fan of it, but maybe some other streamers who only do like fucking four days a week or whatever, they're like, yeah, I'm just gonna take a, a vacation anyway. Who gives a fuck? And they just uh, don't give a shit. I don't like it. And if you still are in here and don't realize that, I don't know what to tell you, <sighs> but. When Disguise Toes did it, it was cool though. No, I, I said it. I, I think it's like pushing the fucking boundaries. It's not good. It's not smart. I've already said this a million times, dude. I think that like uh, pushing boundaries to a degree where like, look, I think Toast is very smart. Okay. Uh, I've said this before, but oh, no, guys, I think what month. XQC is doing and what Toast is doing can actually potentially harm uh, can actually harm the platform in, in general if they get like if they start getting additional scrutiny from actually very litigious content owners you know what I mean like that's not good that's not good at all nobody wants that um so yeah Wait, what? The RNC is deciding not to do debates? The Republican National Committee is preparing to require presidential candidates to not participate in debates run by the long-established commission? Wait, why? Oh my God, that's crazy. We are just back to the 2014-2016 part of the cultural cycle. Everything will be better when Trump is president again. Cat calling you was compliments. Chat is a cat call. Is a cat call sexual harassment? Play a game. No, it's not. Some of the things that you guys are it's touching not. on, such as the. Okay, dude. I don't care. I don't want to see more Quinn clips. Okay. Yeah, he's a fucking dumbass, and he's wrong. I don't know what to tell. I don't know what to say. Maybe I should have a conversation with him on it. Perhaps I don't fucking know. But, um protect our queen hassle you look like a latte what does that of mean course. that's a compliment that's like yo i think you're attractive okay all right unless you bad empanada said you don't like but are addicted no i love streaming and i'm addicted do it at hey, night time in an alleyway okay when they're alone okay then it's okay you can make it you can put content chat 
What the fuck does that mean, bro? It's like, oh, catcalling is okay if the fucking uh, the other side is is receptive. Yeah, no shit. Then it's not catcalling. Like versus a situation where like there's also a threat of fear and and a threat of like physical violence, then it's like actually unacceptable. No, like catcalling can still be sexual harassment if, even if there is no threat of physical uh immediate physical violence. Like but if you are talking to a woman, okay, you are talking to a woman and context is important in the circumstance and you have a conversation with them that is not called catcalling, it's called flirting. So, you know, that's an entirely separate category, okay? The entire point is in that situation, you know, uh, consent, context, that sort of stuff. What's Amaranth saying? Yo, want to read my ban appeals? Twitter message me? Uh, it depends on when I will. Um, <clears throat> literally all you have to do is look up synonyms for harassment yeah it's just like cat calling is when you see a random woman and you go oh okay like down the fucking street like you're a cartoon character okay that's not like or or decide to uh i don't know decide to like reach out to a woman that you do not know that is like fucking walking by going about her daily fucking life and yes, that is catcalling. And yes, that is still sexual harassment. Um, when are we watching the new season of Real Bros of Simi Valley? The Simi Valley heads are demanding it. Wait, Simi Valley is coming out again? Or did it come out already? <clears throat> Consent is a, still a new concept of the terminally online brain. Yeah. And part of the reason why catcalling, and here, here's the beautiful part about this. He understands it. He understands that concept. Because he said, yeah, if you can't call in a fucking, you know, dark alleyway. You can't call a women in a dark alleyway. Then it's, it's not all right. It's like, yeah, why is that not all right? Because there's a threat of physical violence. Catcalling is still sexual harassment because oftentimes... Women are terrified, even if it's in fucking broad daylight, that if they don't respond in a receptive manner, that there is still going to be a threat of physical violence. Your take is kind of dog shit? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm sorry that you can't fucking yell, Ooga! at women that are walking down the street, dog. Sorry, bro. I know, it's like fucking this. dog shit. Anyway. This is this is 1987 George Orwin Animal Factory, Animal Cracker, <laughs> folks. This is unacceptable. <laughs> like I don't even nothing I said in this situation was like even remotely hot of a take. Okay, it was the the coldest, the most lukewarm fucking take you could come up with, and and motherfucker still will be like, actually, bad take. I should be able to say. Please give me your mommy milkers when I see a woman at Ralph's, okay? And that is simply a compliment. Why don't you understand it? And if you're a dude, you usually will not understand it for the record because, you know, you do not see that negative consequence of growing up in a patriarchal society. That is the unfortunate reality. That's why, like, you know, that's why I'm a feminist. I'm a feminist because I want to get to equal standing with women so I can harass women like I harass men, okay? That's why I'm a feminist. I don't know about you guys. I want to be able to make fun of women all the time, okay? Nonstop. Just like I make fun of men. But we can't no, do that hassle. because you motherfuckers are fucking it up. Okay? That's why I'm a feminist. I don't know about you guys. 